644 in the AM, December 27, 2021. And the question was, who are you really? And wanted to focus on the theme because who does videos like this? Jealousy. Are you? Just think about it. Are you jealous? And who are you jealous of or what are you jealous of? And why are you jealous? Those questions are important. I, at least I think they're important. You know, I think they're important too. Okay, so let's ask the question. Who are you jealous of? Then why are you jealous? What reason do you have to be jealous of anyone? Look, here, here's the point. I, I was going through and I, I saw that even myself, I'm not going to tell you who I'm jealous of because that's not important. But you just asked us who we were jealous of. Would you shut up and let me finish? Okay, but it just seems like hypocrisy to me. That's, I just think it's hypocrisy for you to ask us and then you won't tell us who you're jealous of. I didn't ask you. Well, yeah, I did ask you who you were jealous of, didn't I? Well, you know who I'm jealous of? I am jealous of me. Really? How can you be jealous of yourself? Well, I'm jealous of myself because I know what my potential is in so many areas. I know what I'm capable of. And yet, I don't aspire to be that. That's not my goal. Well, why, 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 why don't you try to be all you can be? I mean, isn't that the slogan? Well, of course I want to be all that I can be, but I don't want to be all that I want to be. What, what, what you're saying? Well, because all that I can be is who I choose to be, but not all that I want to be. See, as I said to so many people, when I was younger, my father taught me the difference between needs and wants. And he did it in his own unique way. Because I kept telling my father, hey, Isaac, we called him by his first name. Could you get me a bike? I didn't say, could you get us a bike? Meaning me, my brothers, and my sisters, because there were six of us. Total of seven. My other sister was at home, my mommy, because she wasn't the daughter of my father, and they didn't get along. But he said, because he noticed that I was being selfish. One of the only times in my life where I have been selfish. Because I wanted something of mine. That was mine. Not something that I shared with everyone else. So my father said, okay. And he said this in front of everybody. If you can tell me why you need a bike, I will go and get you a bike today. Now, my father was a man of his word. He was not joking when he said that. And he was not talking about getting me a used bike. He was actually talking about buying me a brand new bike if I could literally tell him why I needed a bike. So I came up with everything I could possibly come up with, you know, because I was a kid, about nine, ten years old. So I gave him all kind of reasons. Help my mother, go to the store, do all kind of things. I mean, I was coming up with kitchen sink stuff. You know, pulling out the whole gambit. Even pulling out monkey wrenches that everybody else had used. And after three days, you, you heard me, three days of coming up with one thing after another, he says, no, you don't need a bike for that. Your mother needs to go to the store. I can take her. No, you don't need a bike for that because you can do this. You know, you don't need a bike for that because you can do this. And everything I came up with, he came up with a logical reason for why a bike was not necessary. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I didn't get a bike until I was 28 years old. I want you to understand, I did not buy a bike until I was 28 years old. And I only did that because I was in New York and I would literally ride the trail in a place called Scotia, New York, which is part of Schenectady County, the end of the road county. And the reason why I never got a bike is because, honestly, I never needed a bike. So, again, becoming who I want to be or becoming who I'm supposed to be, that is the question. So I choose to become who I'm supposed to be, not who I want to be. There are a lot of things I want, but there's only a few things I need. Do you remember, there, there's a story in scripture, 
Jesus is talking to Martha. There, he's at her house. They invited her, her, her sister Mary Magdalene, and Lazarus. Yes, Mary Magdalene was Martha and Lazarus' sister. And they invite Jesus over, and they have a bunch of other guests, and Jesus is talking to all the guests, and Mary is at his feet, listening to every word coming out of his mouth. And Martha says, "Look, hey, I'm in here slaving, sweating." You see this towel? You see how wet this thing is? And she's sitting up here like, that just is right at your feet. Help, tell her to get up and come and help me. She, Martha, a grown woman, telling Jesus to tell a grown woman what to do. And Jesus simply said, look, Martha, what you're doing is fine and all. He says, but it's a meal. All we just need is the basic nutrients, and that's it. But you, you're going all out because that's what you chose to do. Well, Mary, what she chose to do was she chose to eat a different meal. She chose to eat a better portion, and I'm not going to take that away from her. So he just told her, and, and the way he said it was, Martha, <laughs> Martha, okay, only a few things are necessary. Ladies and gentlemen, you don't need everything. You don't want everything. You only think you want everything. And that's jealousy. That's where jealousy comes from. You see, I wanted a bike because I saw all the other kids having a bike. So I wanted what they had. Again, jealousy. I know many of you never thought about it this way, which is why I'm doing the video, because this is how I think. Okay, this is what goes through my mind when nobody else is around. This is what I was thinking about this morning, and I said I was going to share that with you. I hope you appreciate it. So, look. Take a look at yourself. You know, take a look at yourself. And while observing yourself, go into the mirror. Look into the mirror. And ask you, are you happy with yourself? You might see some flaw. You might see something about how you look that you're not happy with. And then ask yourself, wait a minute, am I not happy with that because I'm looking at myself through someone else's eyes? Man, I look good. I have a story that I wrote and it's called uh, Grandma Story. Grandma Annie Mae. And she has this little girl that she sees walking down the street and her mother uh, died and she she's related to the girl the girl doesn't know it but she's related to the girl and so she sees the girl walking down the street and she speaks to the kids every day she sits outside her house every day as the kids are walking down the street and annie may goes hmm what's this right here why is she walking all by herself child who did your hair and she says my auntie girl would you come over here and let me look at that monstrosity and she goes over to Annie Mae girl you sit up here and I'm gonna sit up here and fix up your hair because this right here is horrible and she takes and she does that little girl's hair and it takes her about 35 minutes and she says down reach over there and get your uh, Annie Mae over there uh, uh, that mirror let me let me let me let you take a look at yourself and she grabs the mirror she says, now take a look. And the girl smiles and says, I look good. Ladies and gentlemen, grab that mirror and recognize how good you look. Don't judge yourself by somebody else's eyes. Don't judge yourself by some stupid beauty pageant. Go ahead. Because the one thing I ask my God to do is to show me the flaws in everyone else. Why? So that I'm not comparing myself to them. Everybody has flaws, ladies and gentlemen. Everyone. Except me. I don't have any flaws. <laughs> I never have flaws. No, 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 no. I brush my teeth and I do very well. I use oral. That's right. Gets all into the crevices. Oh, you didn't say flaws? You said flaws? Well, it sounds the same. Flaws and flaws. It, it, let's see, see, same word. And you don't get mad at me because I said flaws. Ladies and gentlemen, you'll have to excuse him, okay? But go ahead, grab that mirror. Stand in front of that mirror. Take a look at yourself.
Take a look at me now. While you're standing there and recognize who you are and say the same thing that that little girl said to herself. She said, I look good. Not that she was stuck on herself, but she had never seen herself for herself before. So you, go and take a look at yourself and recognize that if there's anything or anyone that you could possibly be jealous of, please understand you don't have a right to be jealous of them. No, the only person you have a right to be jealous of is you. Why? Because you know what you're capable of. And see, you're the only one who can aspire to be all that you can be. No one else can be all that you can be. Technically, no one else should ever be trying to be all that you could be. Ladies and gentlemen, this is just a short snippet of asking, do you really know who you are? What are you jealous of? All right, y'all have a good day. And I hope, as Prince would say, you realize that you're a diamond and a pearl. That's my hope. All right, ladies and gentlemen, have a good day. Oh, and by the way, this song, I did not choose. It was the first one that came on, okay? So be both a diamond and a pearl. Gotta go.